welcome back. It is Wednesday, June 19th. Nine to ten days after I came into this wretched town. A new group of hikers around me. This is the airport. Campground. Today we're hitting the trail again. That's my ninth to day hiatus. Line up. Yeah. Holy moly, it's been two weeks, guys. Two weeks since I got it just to hatch pee with my little sickness. But I am back on trail. I'm at the Cameron Trailhead. This is the eight miles before, well, this is to hatch pee, Willow Springs Road. Right before, eight miles before Highway 58. Which gives me the option of going back into the Hatchby tonight if I want to. We'll see what happens. It is around like 7 o'clock in the morning right now. I'm gonna get my miles done, these eight miles, and see what's cracking after. Alright, because the next section has some weird water. Like once I do these eight miles where there's no water, there's another stretch with no water for 17 miles. So just gonna get to moving, man. So there are some beautiful views today. This huge valley here. Wind turbines everywhere. But um, already more than halfway done with the eight miles. I'm at like mile six. I'm on the last descent down into or onto Highway 58 that takes you to Tehachapi. To be honest, I might go back into Tehachapi, even if it's just to eat. Um, I've been carrying my maximum amount of water. Check out the sign, it's pretty dope. And it's gonna be a hot one today. It's cool out though, but it's gonna be a hot one. So maybe I'll go into town for a few hours and then who knows, honestly, because there's a bus that takes hikers back onto the trail at 6.30 in the morning on a weekday. So maybe I'll just Consider this an eight mile day. Go into town, stay at the airport, zero tomorrow, and take the uh, bus back onto the trail on Monday. There's a 2,000 foot climb literally within the first like two, three miles of the next section, and it's a 17 mile drought. So I think I made a good call by getting on the trail early, banging out these miles. And then pretty much Nero back into the Hatchby. It's beautiful though, man. Look, just the views. The trail continues that way. And I'm pretty sure I see the highway. I just see some trucks. Yeah, man, I'm really close. I'm gonna just do that. No one wants to climb up 2,000 feet in the sun man in the middle of the day so i'm gonna head right back into town and just enjoy my life it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful day i'm happy i'm on the trail let's be honest i almost fucking died two weeks ago on the uh, aqueduct i got food poisoning from somewhere i'm not gonna say where because it's bad business for them but you should know I really thought about quitting last two or two weeks ago. Staying in town, I was good after like four days. But then I linked up with my crew, Obi-Wan, his brother, and uh, Sandlot. Cool ass crew, man, I love those guys. But it was hard to, you know, make it out of town because so many events kept happening. Even today, I think there's a an event at the airport, which I might just go back and just enjoy, man. But um, I, I completely understand that movement. The Sierras are fucked right now. Snow or snow melting, making river crossings crazy. You know, no one wants to rush into that. And there is a huge bubble that's just pulled up. So it's pretty dope knowing that I'm not the last of the last. But we are in the last bubble of hikers, I truly believe. So I, I want to I wanna go, man. Honestly, uh, my... Rest his soul, man. But the German passenger, my hiking partner from last year, would not have approved of this shit. Two weeks in a town? Fuck no. After two or three days, he was just like, yo, we gotta go. 
You're gonna lose your trail legs, Beats. You gotta go. And I still kind of got them. You know, I'm full, full resupply right now. Only like four or five days of food. Five days of food, but full water. Haven't drank any of it. And I made it up his last eight miles with pretty much three mile pace, an hour. So that's good. I'm gonna make my way back into town. Hitch. If I see the boys again, hey. If not, either way, I gotta jump start on them. And then I'll probably catch up to them if they uh, continue to push on. But gotta go back into town, man. It's literally, it is literally like 8:45, man. out here We've got two and a half more miles downhill downhill that's it b all right man let's go